Airbus UTM is defining the future skies with new digital and automated traffic services to enable new operations with new vehicles. Our team started about two years ago and it was based off of a dream. What could the future of our skies look like? Originally we were an R&D group and now we're starting to build real services for real aircraft and deploy those around the world. It's incredible how fast the aerospace industry is moving. We've got new types of aircraft flying new types of missions. That's why we need a more scalable, integrated, future-proof air traffic management system. That's where UTM comes in. We believe that we will not only be able to enable the new Airbus operations with the new Airbus vehicles, but we can also demonstrate that UTM is a business opportunity. This market is developing incredibly fast, and even in just the last few months, now Airbus offers the ability for you to go and submit a flight plan, and in literally in seconds, get approval for that flight plan and go out and fly. That's how quickly things are moving in this industry. It's really exciting to be a part of Airbus because you get to tap into the expertise, the engineering excellence. It's really neat to be a part of a company um, with that type of reputation. The purpose of what we're building at Airbus UTM is to serve pretty much everybody because all of us have the opportunity to have our lives improved and changed with autonomous flight in commuting or emergency services or cargo delivery. So while we're not building a single product that you're going to buy and have, it's going to be a family of technologies and of solutions that we're going to use to create an entire industry. So the aviation industry is built on safety. It is paramount, it is foundational, and so as we think about UTM services, while we want to be thinking about flexibility and future use cases, safety is at the baseline of everything that we do. So today we're focusing on enabling drones to access the airspace in a safe and secure manner. As we get into the future, we want to think about how does that change when people are on board the vehicles? How does that safety bar change? And use a lot of this technology to support manned air traffic. I think we have the unique opportunity to combine some of the best practices of both traditional aerospace and some of what has made Silicon Valley such a tech powerhouse in other aspects to really move ahead the entire aviation industry.